Hello and welcome everyone, Velocity Banking students, Kingdom citizens. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. And today I have a special guest with me, Brittany Green. Welcome. Hi. We are in person, live together in South Florida. And we're going to be talking about FinCon 2022, which will be happening in Orlando, September 7th through the 10th. Details are on the whiteboard. Check it out. Links will be in the comment section below in terms of where you can sign up. Brittany is a speaker. First time we'll be speaking at FinCon this year. So if you want to hang out with her, you're going to have to book some time because she's going to be a little busy speaking, right? So with that, Brittany, I know some of my audience, they know you yes. pretty well at this point. Yes. But for those who are new, just getting to know you, give us a little background. What do you yeah. do? Who are you? Yeah, so my name is Brittany Green, and I am the CEO and founder of Crown Financials, um, where I specialize in helping my clients increase their credit score anywhere from 50 to 300 points without using a credit repair company. Um, so originally in 2017, when I first started, I started with the credit repair agency. But over time, I said, you know what? I have some things that are much bigger than this in an essence of education wise. I wanted to educate on a different level versus handling the file to file. I wanted to be able to organize a framework that educates folks on how to do things themselves so that they don't have to rely on an agency. So I've been doing that for the past five years. Met Denzel about, I think it was 2019. We always get it mixed up, but 2019. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's because both of us really, really took off in 2018. Um, that was a huge transitional year for us, but we yes. met in 2019. Through and Instagram, right? Through Instagram. Mm -hmm. I found him through a hashtag. And it's funny because I was looking to get on the main stage and you were a speaker at the time. And I'm like, oh, I gotta learn from him. How does he do it? And I followed him and I was supposed to go back and follow other folks forgot to follow them but then you reached out to me we started on your credit journey and then from there we just kind of took off and take took it a bunch of different places so so now it's four or five years later and yes. today specifically yes. is a special day for you yes so, so. um this was the day back in 2017 i was actually denied for a job because of my credit um so this day exactly july 14th of 2017 um i started with the credit repair agency as a customer and an agent um a year later i then departed from the company and started my own education journey um and i've been thriving ever since but that opened the door for me for credit and credit education um so that marks today marks that five-year anniversary so it's like woo -woo. yes beautiful beautiful yes. five years in business most yes. businesses fail what within the first one to five years yes so we made it we, we're, we're doing good business is good <laughs> yes Making yes sales. you got courses you got programs you do yes. a little bit of one-to-one -one, but mm -hmm. mostly group right Masterminds. yes okay. yes we launched that today too on the five-year anniversary we launched the coaching program with the new framework um, specifically for credit education that is making the process more simple for folks to get started get things applied and it feels like that one-on-one -on -one aspect even though it's from a course uh, standpoint awesome awesome so with that being said let's talk about FinCon and let's tell the audience um, our experience mm -hmm. the first FinCon that we attended which was uh, last year yes right my goodness time flies it does that we was blink. in that was in <laughs> Texas yes right? and that was a, we had a blast there so much fun. a lot of networking a mm -hmm. lot of giving a lot of receiving yes. a lot of connections mm -hmm. um, partying yes right People was dancing. People mm -hmm. was, you know, eating good food. I was gonna say the um, food was so good. Food was good. <laughs> I remember them food trucks. I was, oh, I was yes. hitting up them gyros like oh, every day. Oh my goodness! And the fried chicken spots. <sighs> I think I missed the fried chicken. Oh spot man, today. Gus's fried chicken. If okay. you ever go somewhere with Gus's fried chicken, get it. It's okay. So good. Okay. So, so good. with that, tell the audience um, how it was attending FinCon, mm -hmm. right? Some some tips you want to give the audience in terms yeah. of how they should prepare before they get yeah. to the event, what to expect mm -hmm. as an attendee, your, your personal experience, whether it be good or bad, mm -hmm. right? Give it all. And then talk about 
you actually being a speaker at mm -hmm. this event and what are some of the things that you're going to be working on? Yeah, so I'll be honest, last year I did not know what to expect. It was my first FinCon. I didn't even think I was going by the help of someone amazing and someone special. I ended up there, but I didn't know what to expect. But I did, I did have one thing that I knew that I do it with every conference or wherever I go. So I had, I took the bus there and I, cause I lived in Dallas at the time and I had a cooler full of sandwich stuff, food, snacks, chips, you name it, I had it. So one thing I will say is bring your snacks because you're gonna be networking all day. You're gonna be, you know, probably shooting content with folks because it's a very hands-on experience. And I think that's the part that I loved about it the most because it's something you won't experience at most conferences. Most places they're just talking at you, giving you a bunch of information, but this is giving you that chance to go network with big brands, YouTubers, bloggers, anyone who's anyone in the finance industry, it's giving you that chance to go build those relationships network shoot content right on the spot i think there were like cameras posted everywhere folks were shooting podcasts <laughs> they were doing videos and vlogs and yes. it was just amazing they had a con they had content for about a year it, that's what it seemed like because they were interviewing everyone and it was so exciting i would definitely say go ahead and get the vip um this way or the pro pass this way you're able to go network directly with those brands because i think that was like the the best thing about it i was able to talk to brands that if i probably wrote them on linkedin they may or may not write back mm. but you're right there in the in the face with them you, you're talking face to face and they get to feel your energy they get to see who you are so that was really cool i met some amazing people last year had some amazing awakening experiences last year because it was just like i felt like i was supposed to be in that room at that at those moments in time so it was just a, a very beautiful thing Again, the food was good. I ate my snacks, but <laughs> Orlando got good food too. Orlando, oh my god! Oh, I got some spots. There's the food spots. truck spot. They get the food truck spot. That's where all the Spanish oh, people are. Oh man, we're gonna be over there with the chocolate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if, you, if you're looking to buy a ticket, since Brittany is speaking at this yes. event. Tell them about that discount. Yes, you get a discount when you use Crown 10. So if you use Crown 10, you get a discount um, for going. I'm not sure exactly how much the, the it is. I'm, I'm not sure if it's $10 or 10%, but it makes a difference. It, it really does. Hey. Um, any That's gas money. <laughs> so definitely get that. Um, get your ticket. Be in the room. Be in the space, especially if you're in the area of finance and you just really want to learn from other folks or get connected with some folks who are top of the industry, be there, get there, it's, it's worth it. Awesome, so with that, uh, let's dive into some of the, the pre-game work mm -hmm. when, we, when we come to this event. Now that you know we've both gone, mm -hmm. it's a lot, it can be very mm -hmm. overwhelming. So I'll talk about some of the cons, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's good to be open, honest, and transparent. It's mm -hmm. a wonderful event, right? There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So if you don't come with a plan, with yes. a plan of in intention, you can find yourself having maybe useless conversations mm -hmm. with people, mm -hmm. talking to the wrong people, mm -hmm. um, going to the wrong rooms that you don't, it, it wasn't a value to you for that particular time in your business, right? Mm -hmm. So what's nice about FinCon is they post the schedule in advance. Mm -hmm. The speakers, they post them in advance. There's over a hundred and 50 plus speakers at this event so it would be wise if you're gonna spend I think it's three four upwards of five hundred dollars mm -hmm. for a ticket depending on what tier you you purchase you better take the time telling you now because you'll experience these cons if you don't plan out the rooms you want to go to mm -hmm. the breakout sessions the masterminds the the after parties the before mm -hmm. parties the the networking after dark parties i yep. mean there's there's a lot going on where you could end up like i said having useless conversations mm -hmm. and just kind of um uh what's the word you know you talk to someone and you, yeah I'm, I'll, I'll follow up with you mm -hmm. you don't do it right right because it wasn't the right connection mm -hmm. but if you looked up a speaker, right? Say for example, um, I know, boom, Brittany is going to be a speaker there. There's another gentleman by the name of Hassan, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying it right, whom I met last year. So I'm writing a list of mm -hmm. the speakers that I want to introduce myself to, build a relationship with, mm -hmm. possibly take them out to dinner, lunch, breakfast, the party, the before the party, the after party, the walk from 
the the event mm -hmm. to back to your hotel room maybe we're mm -hmm. you know that walking like there's so much opportunity yeah. to talk to people so you can you know come with a list be very intentional yes Brittany talked about having snacks I say bring a ton of water as well yes. you know come prepared you're gonna be talking a lot mm -hmm. and I remember last year I was talking to someone at FinCon and I was getting ready to introduce myself and the lady just went like this she was like hey I'm totally burnt out. Um, I res I respect you. I I don't want to be rude, but I'm totally shutting down. I need to go back to the hotel room. So it's like, okay, mm -hmm. that's great. So awareness, you, right? You're aware of your 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 capacity, mm -hmm. right? Because these events is four days long. Yeah, four days, and they start what nine eight thirty sure. o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and the event technically ends around four or five o'clock but the event don't end mm -mm. at four or five o'clock mm -mm. that's just the that's the, just the time stamps the time stamps <laughs> then there's the 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 walking mm -hmm. from where are you gonna go to have dinner yep and and let me tell you people are gathering groups to go yes. to certain dinner spots yes certain parties oh my goodness so you've got to have the energy not only to be there from nine to five right but then go back to the hotel change yes. to your party outfit the, <laughs> the night <laughs> outfit and then network and talk dance shout who knows <laughs> again then the party ends at what midnight 1 a.m to wake up the next day and as if there isn't an after party <laughs> Yeah, after right. the after like, party. <laughs> like these people at FinCon, mm -hmm. they don't they don't look like it. Mm -mm. But these people at FinCon be partying yes. a little bit. I'm I'm twenty six years old. I I'm an old soul. Mm -hmm. I have my cutoff point. Wait, what? You know, where I'm just like twenty <laughs> six? I forget every time. I feel so old, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And so I should be out partying and having <laughs> all fun. night. But I be have, I be getting the point. I, I text my girlfriend. I'm like, hey, babe, let's. <laughs> these people, they too much. They they got more energy than me. Yeah, they double my age. I don't know. They too much. They're up all day, all night, and they have the energy to go from day one. And they get there before oh me, and the yes. next day, I'm like, Dang. they're there at like six a.m., seven a.m. because they're setting up their cameras because there's a lot of content that's getting shot that they're like they're there with intention. So you're right with writing out what it is that you know who you want to talk to. Also, know what your purpose is, what you're going there for. Are you yeah. going there to shoot content? Are you going there to secure a brand deal? Are you going there? And if you're going there to secure a brand deal. Who are you going, you know, who are you going after and what are, have you researched them? What are their pain points? What are they lacking? Where can you fill any gaps that they have? Those are all things that you want to make sure that you know prior to. Like, I didn't know. I'll be honest. I had no clue. I knew that it was going to be some folks there, but I hadn't had all my stuff together. But once I got there, I was able to get it together on the fly and shoot content. And I was able to meet up with folks that I had just met and we built relationships. And it was like relationships got built overnight type of thing. So when you go there, have that purpose for sure. Oh, and comfortable shoes. I wore heels last year. I'm definitely going to do it again this year. But I, <laughs> it was it was it was a, a stretch walk, walking, you know, all around with the. <laughs> with the heels on so just in case you're a fashionista like myself have you know a bag with some slides in it so for photo ops you have your heels but then you put your flats in there so if you got to change you're comfortable to do so and and do not feel shy in yeah. terms of the the outfits that oh, you yeah. plan on wearing yeah. because the thing with fincon is you're gonna see people wearing suits mm -hmm. that'll be me then you see people wearing shorts and a shirt and mm -hmm. I'm like we going to the same it. event, <laughs> but then be careful now. Don't mm -hmm. judge a book by its cover mm -hmm. because them be the people with the most money in the room. Uh -huh. So, you know, don't feel shy. Be you. Yes. Right. If you're the one that wears a suit and tie, mm -hmm. wear it. But if, if you is rocking a, a, some shorts and a shirt mm -hmm. and some nice kicks, hey, do you. Mm -hmm. Or if you're real fashionable, be you. Come prepared yes. to talk a lot. Give a lot. Receive a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. And replenish and yourself. Very, yes, replenish. Oh my goodness. Brittany talked about the snacks, the water. Meditation. Last year, last year they provided us with a big old bag. Yes. Right. So you can throw a bunch of snacks in there, a bunch mm -hmm. of you know your lunch. Don't feel ashamed. Right. If you're on a budget, that's a great way to map out your budget in terms of okay, not only do I have to spend money 
on the ticket to get to the event, the hotel, the flights, if you're coming from out of state, right? The flights, or maybe you're driving. I know me, I live in South Florida, so I'm making the drive. I'm taking my car there. So I'm accounting for gas, the ticket, the hotel, staying there, um, I think five days, right? And then breakfast, lunch, dinner every single day. So I know me, I will, this is my, when I uh, go on events, this is when I cheat. I eat out as much as I can because when I get back, then I go back into my rhythm. When it comes to water, I'm not gonna be buying three, four dollar waters mm -hmm. back and forth. No, mm -hmm. it'll be smart for me to go to like Winn-Dixie, Walgreens mm -hmm. and get a, a big old case mm -hmm. of water or the gallon waters, stack them up in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. I suggest bringing a bottle, like one of them, uh, what are they big called? Old, the uh, hydro flask yeah. things, right? Big one of those. If you're a water junkie like me, I need a gallon a day yep. at least, right? Half a gallon, my throat's dry. Mm -hmm. So I have to monitor that for myself. As a content creator, not only am I gonna be talking, mm -hmm. but I'm also gonna be creating content. Right. So if you're a new business owner and you're creating content for your business, you're trying to get into the social mm -hmm. media space, FinCon's the best place to yeah. do that because you're literally gonna be passing multiple social media influencers with million followers half a million 200 mm -hmm. all different ranges and so be prepared with your with your phone your camera mm -hmm. maybe bring some microphones to just be prepared you don't know people might ask you to be interviewed or you might ask and they to will. interview and they'll say yes like mostly everybody says yes, yes. right I, I every person i asked mm -hmm. they're like sure and you can schedule that out yeah i've never been to anything like fincon where yeah. it's literally content professionally shot on the spot like oh hey we'll set up the camera right here and record you for an interview they have the stations where you can do it never been to anything like that right they have a podcast station mm -hmm. and a youtube station yes right and um and i think uh, there's a whole there's all these different breakout rooms mm -hmm. tables chairs seats yep. everywhere so you know you can you connect with someone you can pull mm -hmm. them aside and say here this is what i want to talk to you about before we go into the next set into the next mm -hmm. session also consider joining a fin the fincon community facebook group mm -hmm. or the youtubers group or the podcasters group there's a bunch of different fincon groups that you can connect yourself with mm -hmm. um, and that uh you can see who's who's showing up right mm -hmm. and you can make connections in advance and then plan a dinner with them, plan a lunch, yes. plan a breakfast, you name it. So and they have so many spots in that hotel. The hotel is huge. Oh my goodness. And they said they're gonna the do World a lot of big Center things. Marriott. Yes. Yep. So on the pool. Oh my god. Bring your bathing suits because it's amazing. The weather here pretty much year round is amazing. Um outside of her. <laughs> but bring your bathing suits because they have an amazing pool and it's huge. I've seen it when we did like the FinCon meetup and oh my goodness, let me tell you something, okay? I cannot wait. <laughs> to go just to the pool <laughs> to relax yes because right? you're gonna tan. need it you'll need it to replenish yourself yep. like i took those moments where sometimes i couldn't even go to go yeah. away from the crowd right i left i went back to the room i sat in just complete silence i would take naps because i'm a nap queen i will take a 10 minute nap any and everywhere <laughs> That and eating and sleeping is my thing. So I would go take naps and then go back and then get right back into the groove because you need it. You'll end up being so tired. But I know afterwards I slept for a good day or so. So plan that out like the next day after FinCon is over. Allow yourself to have that time to just take off because you're going to need that nap. <laughs> you're going to awesome. need that sleep. Yes. And as we close things out in this video, please mm -hmm. tell us. Yeah. Um, you're going to be speaking at, at yes. Finicon. Yes. What are you going to be talking about? Yeah. What are you going to be a part of there? Yeah. So if it's your first time coming to Fincon, Hassan and I will be doing a, a buddies to a business partners segment where when if you're a first timer, they always tell you to assign yourself with a buddy. And it's so funny because I was standing behind him and he's just like, hey, what do you do? And I'm like, well, I do this. And he's like, oh, I do the same thing. And we're like, all right, we're buddies. You know, because we were literally in the same sector. Um, and so you'll be assigned those. So we're going to be talking about how to prosper and how to maximize most of your time out there at FinCon with your buddies and assigning, you know, finding someone that's in your niche that is, you know, after the same things that you're after and how to maximize FinCon. So something similar to this video, but on a, a little bit of a different scale with the buddy system. Awesome. Thank you for that, Brittany. Appreciate your time here yeah. today. And God bless everyone. Be sure if you're coming to FinCon, send me an email. Let me know. 
if you're a client of mine, you want to, and you you live in Orlando, right? Or you're coming to the event. Hey, I make myself very available for my clients. So your priority, if you're a client of mine, or even you're a loyal subscriber, maybe you were a client in the past, or you got a cash value life insurance policy. Maybe you work with Brittany. Whichever capacity we we have a, a current relationship, wherever that is, you can take it to the next level by hanging out with me in person, possibly even yeah. Brittany at the same time, and we can have a nice dinner mastermind together, right? So uh, the link to attend the event will be in the comment section below. I also probably have it in the description um, to check out Brittany's services. That is also in the description below under personal credit repair. You can also go to my website, denzelrodriguez.com forward slash resources and you'll see her services there in terms of anyone that's looking to rebuild their personal credit uh repair establish grow expand so that we can get access to those debt tools those lines of credits those helocs pelocs credit cards even um business lines as well so thank you everyone have a wonderful day god bless and we'll be talking soon